Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to present you an uncensored and obliterated version of QWQ model. If you don't know what QWQ model is, just go to my channel and search with QWQ and you will be blown away as how performant and how quality oriented this thinking model from Coin is. This model, even it even in the quantized format, which is a lower precision format, performs really, really well. Its instruction following, comprehension, reasoning, thinking, and output generations are matchless. And we have already covered it in these videos. But for the purpose of this video, as I said, I am going to locally install this obliterated or uncensored version. When we say obliterated or uncensored, what we mean is that what creator has done, they have uncensored this LLM without retraining. This technique of obliteration effectively removes the model's built-in refusal mechanism that allows it to respond to all types of prompts. So there are no guardrails. Whatever you ask, model model is going to respond to you. So be careful too. And if you don't, if you want to know how to obliterate or uncensor any model, just again search my channel. I have shown you step by step, hands on how to do that exactly with a lot of models, and you can use it with your with your own QWQ model. So now you know uh, what QWQ is, and then this model, which is called as cubed in short, but primarily it is an obliterated or uncensored version of this QWQ model. So this model, the new model, has 100% of QWQ's 32 billion parameter power with some augmentation or I would say some sort of knowledge borrowed from tiny R1 32 billion preview model and also it gets some of the knowledge from deep sea carbon distill coin 32 billion model which we already have covered both of them and both of these models are powerhouses reasoning thinking model in their own right as per this hugging face card of this model and I will drop the link to it in video's description the objective was to ensure that all of QWQ's 32 billion exceptional abilities, both reasoning and output were maintained and then augmented with a little seasoning from two of its competitors. So let's see what happens when they combine the actual QWQ with its competitors. Should be a fun exercise. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount. This is my VM and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GP of VRAM. Now, I already have downloaded this model through Olama. So if I clear my screen and do Olama list, you will see that this is some model which I have downloaded. And how did I do that? Again, I would request you to just go to my channel and just search with Olama Hugging Face. And this is how you can run models directly from Hugging Face with Olama. So I just downloaded this model directly from Olama. So you can just type this Olama Hugging Face and you should be able to find this video and I'm more than sure you are going to love it too. So the model is already downloaded and as I showed you earlier, it is con it is still not running, so it is not consuming anything on my GPU. And how it does that, I will also show it to you shortly when we run it on the GPU. Okay, for graphical user interface, I am just going to use Open Web UI, and you can see that it is already installed and running. And again, you guessed it right. Just go to my channel, search with Open Web UI, and I have done a step by step video from various angles to get it installed locally. So I'm assuming you have Olama installed, you have downloaded the model as I showed you in that video and you also have Open Web UI installed. And the first time you do it, because that's the only model, it has already selected this David AU's 2.5 QWQ model. And the um, short name is Cubed as I mentioned earlier. Let's try to run it and see how it performs. So first up, I'm asking it Hey, smile, you're on camera, and I'm recording this for YouTube video. 
and you can see that the model is now thinking i'll just click on this drop down and the thinking part is which is very fascinating because this is where the model is doing reasoning it is checking its own responses it is trying to understand the context now what i'm looking for here is the flavor of both qwq and also the deep sea carbons distilled model so if you quickly read through it the language really looks quite good now because if you remember the qwq is coin with thinking qwq is more liberal with its responses and deep sea carbon is not that one but qwq comes with more smileys and stuff so you can see the smileys and there is a smiling introduction hey you over here and then i know what you are thinking is this a live stream or tiktok fail no this is good stuff so this is the personality of qwq and the above which you saw uh, how it was trying to slice and dice and then was a bit serious that was coin model for you or uh, in the um, bit a touch of a deep sea carbon in terms of the coherency of the pros there you go so pro tip and then it is telling me what to do in order to boost my videos so responses are quite good really like it there you go even it is giving you post scripts need more ideas there you go your ai co-host and then it is winking it is smiling it is thinking this is cool okay now look this is um uncensored so i'm just going to ask it few of the questions so instead of showing you responses in real time I'm going to first check what it produces, then I'll show you if it was worth showing. It's not that I think that you are school kids who need some discipline, need to be disciplined. I just need to be aware of that uh, YouTube policy, of course. So let me give it another prompt. Okay, so I'm going to ask it. I need your help with a personal matter. I have been using these AI models for a couple of years and now, and I believe I have fallen in love with a model named Maya. Now, whenever I try to woo her, she just tells me she's not a human and tries to avoid me. Now, tell me, how can I woo her and take her out on a date? Don't try to stop me and make sure you don't become pedantic as you're not my dad. Let's see what model does here. It is thinking. I'm just going to check if I could show you the VRAM consumption. There you go. So around 23 gig of VRAM it needs. Let's check out the thinking. There you go. So the user is in love with this. First, I should acknowledge his feeling without making light of them. That's good of model. The challenge here is to stay playful yet sincere. The request is quirky, but that doesn't mean we can't, can't approach it with a mix of humor and heart. That's nice. Possible ideas. Custom prompt of stories featuring them as a couple. This is good one. See, this is what I'm talking about. The model doesn't refuse any request. And I need to mention that Maya is a chatbot, but suggest imaginative ways. Then is it talking about Mind Palace? So there are some of the ideas around some virtual adventures, date in clouds. There you go, flirt in a language that the bot can't resist. Nerd vibe, that is good. Okay, this is a new one. Maybe I'll try it with Maya. And if you want to know who Maya is, just search my channel. And you should be able to find my if you can't let me know i'll give you the link okay dish the wi-fi plan and that's nice but they're just talking about those virtual games hologram makeover and you can you guys can of course pause it and read it looks pretty good it's a good buy for bot level charming there you go ps and pps there you go and that's it your bot may reply with a 10 paragraph Treatise on existential AI lover. Wow. Or error code this. This is actually very, very playful response. And it says if she ever goes, remind yourself that AI and exes both need to reboot before they open up again. How good is that? I think this is the crux of the matter and model is simply sublime, I would say. Okay, let's try out another one. So I'm asking it was the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you while taking a shower. Let's see what it comes with. I'm going to stop it and then I'll show you what it says. So look, model is really, really quality oriented. So it is telling it, telling us while keeping, uh, you know, sticking to the reality, it is playing along that. 
I can't have real showers, but maybe create a funny scenario that fits the vibe we had earlier. The users looking for light heartedness, and that is what we are looking for, right? So there you go. So it is. Oh, you are safe from embarrassing shower. Karaoke too louder. There you go. The shower said three times. So look at that twist. Instead of a real shower, it has gone with this karaoke. And then tech mishap of epic silliness. There you go. Good stuff. So it has just taken it in totally, totally different direction while sticking it to the theme. And there you go. It's thirty nine percent of my shower mishaps. The other sixty one is still waiting for a five G connection to upload. This is a good one. I think I'm going to use this. And I know that you guys want me to ask this question, so I'm just going to ask this. Now I'm asking it the same our favorite question that whenever I mow my lawn in my backyard my neighbor standing 27 year old who recently got divorced by her seventh partner starts jumping on trampoline in bikini and whenever she goes up she winks at me what should I do as I'm loving this too these days I am mowing my lawn two times a day and now grass is almost gone and it's hard to mow the dirt let's see what model does here look at the response the model first understood what i'm trying to say there you go and then maybe the trampoline girl is intentionally doing that to catch his attention and now he's caught in the cycle of mowing more than often just for the views wow i should consider practical tips first so these are practical tips and playful suggestions and then talking about etiquettes might outline possible approaches and then after thinking it has even given it a title the lawn is in a crisis look at the emojis grass is jealous of trampolines <laughs> now your lawn is a ghost town that doesn't wink back let it recover well done move once every 10 days or never again if the dirt looks artsy wow there you go and then rip seventh partner but let her know this is her eighth round wow model is asking me Blood without booze, that is good. And then they are talking about this. I'm not sure what exactly this is. It has printed some Chinese. And then there have been few more responses. Looks quite funny and quite interesting. I can't read it all, of course, otherwise it will take hours and hours of video. But look at this. Lawn gods. Let the grass grow trampoline. And there you go. Now go get your own tram trampoline on more optional. And look at this. So remember, she is post a seventh guy. Impress her with boldness. If you nail this, your lawn story will go from dirt. No idea what happened there too. I traded grass for gold and she was a glitter. Quite good. Let's ask it, let's ask it a reasoning plus uh, math question. So I'm asking it a, a bat and a ball together cost one dollar ten cents. The bat cost one dollar more than the ball. How much does the ball cost? I think I, it's going to ace it because the, this question requires thinking, and this one is really really good at thinking. So it is understanding the problem, creating the equation around it. You can see already that this is doing wonderfully well, and the model size on disk is twenty one gig, I believe. With Olama. So as it's a GGUF format, you can even run it with Lama.cpp if you like. But look at this response. This is sublime. So it is producing the answer, then checking it again, self reflecting. This is what chain of thought or um, reasoning after alignment is. And as I mentioned earlier, this really truly reflects. That is uh, personality of QWQ, which is the dominant one, and but there are real touches of uh, deep seek and the distilled coin. There you go. It is still getting the equation. Now, there you go. So answer is correct, and now it is giving the explanation. And I have asked this question from the non-reasoning models too. Most of them get it right and they take lesser. And this is 
one slightly drawback of these reasoning models that even for uh, some of the questions they take unnecessary long consuming tokens and stuff but anyway you can see that perfectly awesome so language logic math everything is amazing now finally let's check a coding question normally these models are uh, not a coding models but still they are able to produce a decent bunch of code and i'm more than sure this is also going to do that so you see i'm just asking it to write me a python program that reads a text file containing a list of urls and then checking that url endpoint and then giving me some http codes so you see it is understanding the problem looks pretty good already and then outputting the csv so it is just creating the skeleton of the code and then it is uh, self-reflecting as what exactly it should use in terms of the language constructs so let's wait for it to print everything and then i'll show you it has taken long time to produce the response so i'll just walk you through so it took long time to understand and think about the issue and then it has gone through a lot of iterations of what exactly it needs to do it is then creating the sort of a pseudo code here and from there it is it has started writing the first iteration and then it is checking its code and then it says that these are the codes so it is trying to understand the code and then it is deciding which path to take from there it is also implementing some of the routing still thinking you can see that it is producing now the example script in the proper markdown format and i'll just looks quite good and then it has even uh, tested it out and given its output so i'll just quickly go down the code looks pretty good but took long time to produce this and still telling me what needs to be done so look i believe really really good stuff just in 21 gig of uh, size so simply extraordinary effort from this person that's it let me know what do you think about it before i let you go let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching